What up, YouTube? It's Misery's Company. In today's video, we're going to cover some leaks that we have on the Chinese patch notes. A lot of people have already covered this, but I did want to put my own little spin on it and give you some of my insight, as well as my opinions on what I think will actually be coming to the global edition of Diablo Immortal. Let's get straight to it. So first things first, this is the Chinese patch notes, okay? This came out on the 19th, so a few days ago. Um, and so new gameplay, uh, Camp Combat Soul Trial, a great way to enjoy the holidays. Now, a holiday they're probably referring to, which is very, very popular in in um china or in, in on the uh asia areas um is the new year so it's the chinese new year so but before we get to the chinese new year stuff there is a clearly a new event of some kind or game mode that involves werewolves so this is obviously translated via google translate so barrage shooting a whole day of fun the soul trial of the hot meat <laughs> Ayo, pause. <laughs> and the sanctuary has started again, um, staring the high energy battle at the end of the year. The vertical screen gameplay is one handed operation. Players need to fight their way through the waves of monsters. Okay, so this is actually talking about this, but what is that? Oh, new gameplay, this one. Chase and confrontation, a new werewolf killing gameplay is coming. The dangerous atmosphere in the dark night is gradually approaching. The sharp minions are shining coldly in the moonlight uh an excited pvp will start with between different camps one side is a powerful werewolf and the other side is a hero who fights bravely the game and confrontation be, uh, between the different camps will be staged in the new year version it is not yet known who will win the final victory so again this is a werewolf seemingly werewolf pvp style where one team is werewolf and one is not this could be like a zombies game mode is sort of my interpretation where if you're bit or killed by a werewolf you turn into a werewolf and sort of the last man standing would be the victor now this is all my interpretation based off the different game modes we already have in diablo immortal while a just pvp game mode of werewolves versus humans would be cool too i think it'd be even cooler if they did sort of like a zombie style where you know if you're killed you turn into that one and then the last one standing wins um they've covered so many different styles of mobile games within this one mobile game and i think that would be really just like another really cool addition um or like i said it could just be straight up pvp werewolves versus humans and no one changes but i think it'd be really cool if they, they made it sort of really doubled down on that um on that idea of a werewolf and changing others into a werewolf so we'll see what it is and we don't even know if it'll come out to the global server because they do have made it very prominent that um, not all game modes will come to the global server but not all events will come to the global server so we don't know as of yet but if it does that'd be sick um this one is coming back which was honestly like probably one of the best rewards that we got in the game so i really like this um love that it's coming back with more rewards uh the dragon and the tiger are leaping into the new year new servers are launching to celebrate the new year which is likely tied to just the chinese version of the game um enjoy endless gifts and surprising and surprises during the chinese new year we've seen this style of game um event in the past so we will likely get this one as my guess um the rewards are fine they're nothing crazy though now this is really cool so this is a new skin likely coming based off the dragon new year whatever looks awesome some people were asking if this is going to be like the 170 dollars cross class skin i'm going to give you a firm no i don't think so i think this is going to be one of those seasonal skins and if you're familiar with cosmetics and you know like the tier list where it's like you know purple was that one you can buy it's good for all of them and you know then gold is obviously the cross class and then they are like silver i think and then the regular ones are well, regular they have a teal for seasonal events well seasonal cosmetics i think this is going to be one of those um and they are one time and then they're gone and they're not cross class co cross class cosmetic the reason i feel like that is that we haven't gotten one in a while and it would make sense if it wasn't cross class since we just got a cross class one so i'm pretty sure this will be one of those teal ranked um uh seasonal based of uh cro class skins that are not cross class they look sick though like that one looks really badass it does remind me of one that i have on my wizard um which i obviously can't show you because i'm on my blood knight but anyway i think this will be a seasonal non cross class cosmetic unless they change it where you can spend more money and get make it cross class but i don't know we'll see um moving on and this is just about diablo immortal so these are the leaks that we have from the chinese patch notes guys nothing insane um minus whatever this new game mode is i think that it is probably around time that we get a new game mode i would anticipate a new game mode like this would probably become maybe not but i mean we we know that they will likely do one big patch every quarter this could be that um but we don't know when this is coming i would imagine sometime at the end of the month 
um, based off Chinese New Year. So, but more to come. We hopefully will get more information from the uh, English version of the patch notes soon. But if not, this is everything that's coming to the Chinese uh, version of the game. And we're bound to get some amount of it on the English version. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this will be a zombie type mode or what? What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, guys, I hope to see you in a video soon.